tomorrow night, one of the biggest drinking nights of the year. Well, now Pennsylvania is putting a temporary ban on the booze. Yeah, at 5 o'clock tomorrow, bars and restaurants, they're going to have to stop serving. That temporary ban that's going to stay into effect until 8 a.m. on Thanksgiving morning. The idea, keep the crowds down. NBC 10's Randy Gyllenhaal live in Conshohocken this morning. Randy, yet another blow to an industry that has been hit hard by the pandemic and the restrictions that have been put in place. Yeah, well, you can still get takeout cocktails, but you can't get anything from the bar on the unofficial holiday tomorrow, Blackout Wednesday, where during a typical year here in Conchi on Fayette Street, these bars would be packed with high school reunions, family and friends drinking. Of course, this is no normal year. And to discourage those gatherings, the state banning alcohol sales from the bar tomorrow night and something uh, that many bar owners say is just not necessary. There's no bar stools. There's no standing at bars. I don't know how you're going to have that crazy bar scene that they think is happening if you can't even stand in a bar. Well, last night, restaurants and bar owners met in Northeast Philly discussing these new restrictions and the difficult path forward. Governor Tom Wolf announcing that bars and restaurants across the Commonwealth must stop serving alcohol 5 p.m. tomorrow, and that ban lasts until Thanksgiving morning. It is unprecedented, but health experts are saying it's necessary amid a startling spike in COVID hospitalizations and warning signs that despite the pleas from scientists and the CDC, many families still planning to get together. Together, seeding and spreading the virus during this holiday week. We have some bad choices, no question about it. But we've got to make those choices. We can't ignore them, and that's what we're trying to do here. It comes with real costs, however. Pennsylvania's Beverage and Tavern Association saying that the industry is in desperate need of financial help, warning job losses and business closures could be coming. Uh, even with no help in sight from Washington, many of these small businesses saying uh, that one night, uh, Blackout Wednesday, which is typically one of the busiest drinking nights of the year, uh, could be devastating to their business to lose that. For now, we're live in Conchahawk, and I'm Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News. Count on it.